So everybody get ready because it's the very last year you can buy a real camera. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Thomas Love here from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia and today it's a bit cold, it's like negative 14 degrees Celsius that equals to 7 degrees Fahrenheit so also the cousins in the States can understand what I'm talking about but I'm here safe and sound talking about the future of these cameras because it all started with the Leica M11P, the very first camera having a digital signature integrated to prove that the contents that the photos are not made up by AI with generative contents and now a few other brands followed Nikon of course despite there's no camera released yet with a signature and now also Sony worked on his own signature that reminds me guys I don't know if you are wise enough I tend to uh, think that every year I become wiser and wiser so if you are at least as wise as me you might remind the great discussion that we had decades ago whether the Betamax cassette was better versus the U-Matic and then eventually the U-Matic won the battle and became the standard for working agencies back then I was working in advertising agencies and then eventually the VHS became the consumer version of it with the tape inside so here we are starting another discussion whether the Leica certificate or the Sony certificate would be the one that becomes the standard for digital signature why is that because ever since they released generative contents and so we're talking about Photoshop Lightroom with the generative AI that helps a lot if you want to fix easily some of your pictures then you know now we need a certification to prove that the photo is real especially if we talk about photo reporters journalists so on and so forth so every single time that we see the news out there and there's a proof with a photo taken we don't really know if that photo is real or not and so we need a digital signature that certifies that the contents in the pic has not been alterated whatsoever with generative tools with the AI so on and so forth and so if you want to have a real camera nowadays probably 2024 is one of the very few last years when you can do that because we can see every single month with new releases new cameras they say they have AI integrated this is not true so the term AI is abused so every time you see AI out of focus tracking well that's just a new algorithm with a dedicated chip so there's no AI in your camera yet it is coming so probably it will come and it will affect the way we are shooting because real AI might take decisions on our behalf and those decisions will probably be more lucid more stick to the point they will not have a soul but probably the alien technology will be performing better than our habit. Now, how does photography work and why I'm so insisting in getting one of the very last cameras nowadays that you will eventually keep for life without AI integrating and without digital signature? Because photography is a matter of experience or habit, if you want to say it like that. Remember when you were starting driving your car, then you needed to practice, 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 and you were thinking about how to use the clutch if you had it, what gear, how to steer properly, how to brake properly, so on and so forth. And then eventually with so much practice, it becomes a habit. So now your body has a memory, your brain has a memory, and you do everything without even thinking about what you are doing, you are just driving your car. So with photography and with many other things, it is exactly the same thing. You do it so many times and you face so many different situations that eventually you know already by the heart without thinking about it or so much what shutter speed is the best for that situation, what ISO you might use. And so with cameras evolving every single month and every single day and year after year, we see a quantum leap 
if you compare my old Leica Q2 versus the contemporary Sony cameras whatsoever, the A7, R5 or even the A7C Mark II, you see it's a quantum leap in technology and in the health that the camera can give you. And then eventually with the AI, the cameras might take decisions on our behalf and do a smarter job. So if you really want to experience photography, if you really want to make as much photos as possible with your own choices, just go manual, take a camera even nowadays 2024 before the AI hits, before digital signature becomes a thing because you don't want to over process, you don't want to over complicate, you don't want to share having in the cloud whatsoever. You want your own photography in your hard disk at home and to do post production with that and enjoy the end result. So if this is what you want, I warmly suggest you pick up a camera as soon as possible because in one year, two years, who knows what the cameras will look like. And then eventually, if you need that help, and this is my case, I'm about to switch to Panasonic because I have different needs right now. I need a wider angle. I need to shoot videos. So probably all that AI, let's call it AI, despite it is not really AI, all that AI, the AF tracking and the video recording and all the grading, log, codecs, whatsoever, that's a very good help that you can have in your camera if you need it. And so since I need it, I'm really looking into Panasonic. I'm going to stay within the N-Mount Alliance. But guys, I don't really know which one would be the best choice. I have a list of one lenses only that I would love to have. And so stay tuned and because I will keep you posted. So with that, I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please remember to like it, share it on your social media, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new videos to come. And I guess I will see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.